Bless up, bless up, bless up. Wagwan over Yasso Panarem TV review. Hope everyone doing good as you're watching this right now. So we see a lot of people in reaction after seeing the Prime Minister Andrew Holness was in attendance for the festivities and posted pictures to his Instagram account with the caption saying had a great time with the Mitchells. You know, Tammy Chin, she was celebrating her birthday and him go post that is like we see a lot of people abash Prime Minister Andrew Holness over that. So we're gonna get into that later. Also we see Shensia unfollows Russian after getting a 70 million copyright infringement lawsuit. We are also gonna get into that. But first thing first, Sean Paul, we see where he cancels show in order to spend Father's Day with his kids. Now, you know tomorrow is Father's Day and big up to all of the good, the real fathers out there. So we're gonna get into this article right here, we see out and a lot of people reacting to it. People, let me know what y'all think about this. You know, to book Sean Paul on a normal money, so him just turned down a lot of events you know for this weekend to spend you know time with his kids and his family so right here as you can see dancehall superstar sean paul says he recently forfeited a show just so that he can spend father's day with his children the temperature artist was speaking with ebony magazine after being asked what fatherhood was like for him at age 50 and what he was most looking forward to for Father's Day. His exact words right here stating, Let me tell you something, I literally just cancelled a show that was supposed to take place on Father's Day because I want to spend it with my pitney. Fatherhood is a new chapter of life for me. You know, I'm someone who did this late, but they keep me feeling young and remind me so much of myself. I think they are the best song I ever wrote. It's all still new for me, but it's such a blessing. You know, so Sean Paul became a father at age 44 when he and his wife, Jody Jinx Henriquez, you know, welcomed their son, Levi Blaze Henriquez, in February 2017 after five years of marriage. They welcomed their second child, a daughter named Remy Lee Henriquez, in August 2019. So, this is a beautiful thing right here, you know, big up Sean Paul for cancelling a show. Yes, people, him just has spent some time with his kids on this Father's Day. And also, big up, you know, all the real fathers out there, you know, happy Father's Day when it come tomorrow. Yeah man, so we're gonna move along the next topic right now. We see Shensia and follow Russian as UMG slash Interscope Records settle 70 million dollar copyright lawsuit. You know, 70 million Jamaican dollar. Yes, people. So the Jamaican dance all star Shensia and her label Interscope Records as well as Peering Company Universal Music Recordings you know, have reached a settlement in the copyright infringement lawsuit filed by Stephanie Sarley in a California Central District Court. The settlement is in relation to the 2019 music video produced by Russian, you know, that's foreplay, y'all supposed to know the song. It was directed by Marco Ruiz, you know, which Stephanie Sarley had claimed Shensia and her label rip off portions of her provocative fruit art works in sections of the video so me don't know if the re me don't know the reason why Shensia and follow Russian if I because of this but a lot of people pick up and you know just assume yeah man so it's like some people are saying Shensia I blame Russian for this big lawsuit right here so Prime Minister Andrew Holness you know after attending Tommy Chin birthday celebration. He put out a post. This picture right here, you know, as you can see, them have fun, them a laugh and thing. But it's like some people, they must say right now, Andrew Holness is having a smile on his face and so many problems are going across the country. It's like some people are different Andrew Holness the same way. So in post 
few pictures of the event, you know, along with the caption right here stating, <laughs> had a great time with the Mitchells celebrating Tommy Chin birthday last evening, you know, and him talk the Mitchell family. Now, we see a few of the reaction right here, you know, as you can see, this person posts after seeing some people abash the Prime Minister. At this point, more do one be Prime Minister cause people expect you to be God. Who does sir wholeness? You are not perfect but I can see that you are trying to make a difference. You know a next person right here coming saying this must be a joke lol. A next person coming saying the Prime Minister have a life to live too. Think the job easy. Make him go mingle so people can tell him how they feel about the state of the country. Yeah, so an express right here, you know, comments saying, Some of the comments here makes me wonder if work-life balance doesn't have expectations. The man can't enjoy himself. He is promoting what a lot of us don't do. Yeah, man, so it's like a lot of people... You know, they might come at Andrew Holness, say, uh, you know, the country, I go through a lot of things and him out here smiling like this at Tommy Chin celebration and all of that after seeing the photos uh, circulate over him IG page. So people, let me know what y'all think about this one as well. Bless upon yourself and as me say, happy Father's Day when it reach Big Up Sean Paul, same way. The man cancel a show. For this weekend, you know, for tomorrow on Father's Day, actually, for spend some time with his children. Music on the face of the earth. Now, when certain artists don't have visa, we cannot compete on the main stage because our new products does not have what it requires to sell tickets and to fill these venues. See? Now, a hell for a Jamaica show get Madison Square Garden. If you know anything about promotion in America, a hell for get Madison Square Garden. Barclay Center, where you see them get last night, we more lenient, but it's still hard. What happened last night was history. See? Me go to Barclay Center, there was 50 cents. There was Buster Rhymes. There was, uh, who again? I think Fat Joe. Who will see the Pana show there? I, I will, who was a hip hop artist? It take for fully. Zin? Um, what do you burn a boy? I must see fully. I know him alone. Some people about burn a boy alone. He's never burn a boy alone. Him and some other people. Right? What is super cat full back the center to? You know, Swiss beats them car super cat in there that was huge. TJ them in the run out and Dexter It's the last night. It's the last night. Tell the world. Say Dancer is number one. And Jamaica is still number one. You hear that? My proud. And everybody were booked for that show the last night. Me don't know the promoter, but more want to pick up the promoter. People more want to understand all me reasoning. You know? Not because the promoter now booked me. He booked Jabba them. And that's amazing for me. Because a Jamaica, they yeah, represent the man keep a show. We're fully Jamaican. Barclay Center Ram till he can't ram no more. See, what happened last night was massive. Could you had foot by somebody? People may have to forward live and commend the promoter. Figure straight Jamaican. See, the show was 100% Jamaican and Barclay Center sold the fuck out. That show the last night was a part of the journey. Zine, the maintain Jamaican status as number one in the world. Zine, if the show did, did flop last night, it would have hurt me in a major way.
So for the fact that the show sold out and the performances were amazing, is a big plus for Jamaica and the culture. Now I hope them young youth here. When me attack young youth, me attack the young, young, young one them. The one them we are saying about the spit in that throat and the suck hood and the and the and the the bag of things when it makes sense. One of a watch, not to be criticized, but watch and observe and follow the guideline. We now say if you do everything with the elder them doing, you know, but follow the guidelines. Do not go over the boundaries that was set by the people them before with my lord. We, you have to be innovative and you have to be creative. But you cannot be destructive. Because I'm going to mash up something. But hard to fix. Very hard to fix, bro. Bro, who don't make best of the best no keep? I can't believe all now, you know? Killer filler. I want them and them understand. They make best of the best not keep. The new artists make best of the best not keep. I want to understand me as saying, bro. Last night supposed to be a wake up call for all of the young artists. Them We are seeing garbage. None of the six months sang them nothing last night. None of the three months sang them nothing last night. None of the little one year sang them nothing last night. I don't even think none of them play. And the fucking venue was sold out. So I am saying to you, you don't need glasses. You don't need glasses. You don't need to listen to your entourage member them where I say yes to everything where you say. You need to look out of your own eye and ask yourself, why me not get booked for Barclay Center? Why me not get booked for that big show here? Ask yourself. Sit down and ask yourself, 